Today we're gonna mill up another maple log, but before we do, let's take a step back and look at how we got this. Every table that I build has a story to tell, and I am gonna start telling it in the form of a video. And here we are, we're starting off with a beautiful maple tree that just happened to uh, meet its doom by falling down. You can see here was the base, the tree fell this way, and right now I'm working with Seattle Tree Care. They're pulling this thing up and craning it, I mean, so high up into the air right now, it's amazing. Um, and one day I'm gonna be building tables out of this and you're gonna be able to see it, where it started and where it finished. Love, I love to be able to see the path of the rock, right? Well, thank you so much for giving this tree a second life. No, thank you for allowing me to give this tree a second life. couple things to think about when you're setting the orientation of these logs. Obviously you got the curvature of the entire log and then you also got splits like this. This split happened when the tree fell down. I want to try to get this all into one slab so I can reduce the amount of splitting and potential splitting that I have in the other slabs. So I'm going to rotate this thing perfectly this and try to get most of this into one slab. It also works out perfect because the curvature of this log goes like this. Usually you'd want a straight log but me I love a little bit of curve. I think it gives uh, the opportunity to do something creative with your tables. So let's see where that takes us. That is a heavy hunk of wood. Perfect. It's all fun and games, but really in this business, you gotta work smarter, not harder. Ooh. Ooh, we see a big split. This thing split right here. That's not good at all. Hopefully I didn't make a bad decision in my, in my cut. It's pretty hard to, to make a bad decision uh, when it comes to the orientation of these cuts. But if there was somebody who could make a bad decision, it might be me. Nonetheless, it's beautiful. Got some nice spalting. So this here is the path of the rot. The rot started at the base of the tree and worked its way up. As cool as it is, these little black lines, that is fungus. There is a fungus, a mungus, and it makes for the coolest details in these tables. And I mean, as you can see, it just fades up here and it slowly fades away as rot gives way to solid hardwood. This tree was just getting devoured by the uh, fungus. And now I'm going to devour this tree and turn it into some tables. Thank <laughs> you. 
ya. Perfect. Oof. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I see a lot of spalting, and as beautiful as it is, it also makes for uh, a very hard slab to work with. The softer the wood is, where it leaves it really soft like this, I could dent with my fingernail just about. Okay, that kind of stuff, especially this right here, you could see I can push that in with my finger. So when you're sanding this kind of wood, right, um, you could stabilize it with resin to help but ultimately it has to be sanded down and you have to not dig into these. So the soft spots make it a very hard slab to work. Carbon rich. <laughs> Think about how long that's been in there. Actually, it didn't taste like anything at all. It really just tastes like eating like the plainest clay you could imagine. 100 years of earth. Now that's natural nutrition. Hey, look at this butthole right here. <laughs> so in all seriousness, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of spalting, a lot of lines, and these are gonna be really hard slabs to work with. Oh, broken slab. Oh, make sure my point's in a nice hard piece of the wood. And lip. Uh. That is one rotten, one rotten slab. I would definitely say this thing is nearly unusable. But the hardest things in life are worth fighting for, and I could still make tables out of this. This shall be the most beautiful tables of all. From a little log whose doom was a great old fall. These are gonna be some very hard slabs to work with, but they're gonna be well worth it in the long run. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up, the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And you can see me turn this into an awesome dining room table. And if you happen to be the person who's buying this dining room table or this slab from me, thank you very much.